Uh, another kind of skill or characteristic that we, we focus on developing in young players now is resilience and frankly we, we couldn't be speaking to somebody better on that, particularly after the, you know, the year you've had and what you've came back from. Where does that come from within you? Um, I think it's just, I think it can be, in, I think it's in everyone, I think you've just got to find it in yourself. I think that, as I said at the start, it's my dream to play football, so I never want to give up that dream. I know it will happen one day when I physically can't do it anymore, but uh, you need res a lot of resilience in football. There's a lot of ups and downs, I think that, but the more you believe in yourself and the more you believe in your ability, I think that sees you through these situations deep down in yourself, believe in yourself and, and don't let anybody tell you you can't do it and use that as a motivation if they do. If someone tells you you can't do it, don't see that as the end. Use that as a motivation and, f and use that as a fuel to prove people wrong. I think that you can take little things like that and prove people wrong and say, no, I'll, I'll show you I can get back or I'll show you I can do that. I think um, it's important to have these little challenges as well uh, because there will be plenty of them. And how, how much do you rely on, on support, external support f in that process? Yeah, parents and, and family are, are massively important, uh, especially going through the situation I had, I couldn't have done it without my wife and mother-in-law and my parents and sisters. I think they're vitally important and they're vitally important throughout my footballing career. Uh, even just to get to be the chance to become a professional football player, I probably might not have did it without the support of my parents, my dad driving me up and down the country. Uh, so it's important that you remember that, that uh, a lot of people sacrifice a lot, coaches, um, school teachers, a lot of people sacrifice a lot of time and effort for me to be sitting here today. Can you give us an example of a time when you were young, you, you talked about your parents and your family as, as a support network, but where they played a, a really vital part in getting you through a, a specifically hard time? Yeah, uh, when I first moved to Manchester, I, I broke my foot and I never played for about a year and a half. And this was at the stage where I'd just become a professional football player. I was still young, I was only 16 year old, so wasn't quite an adult or yeah, I was still relatively young and then um, you think to yourself, why, why, why am I injured and you're, you're rushing to get back but it's important, my parents played a massive part in just calming me down and telling me that uh, I'll get myself there, just take my time, make sure I, I let the injury settle because uh, that was probably what was happening, I was rushing myself back too quick, too eager to get back playing and, and not letting the injury heal and kept refracturing it so I think uh, my parents sat me down and said look can they just give you as much time as you need to improve this just calm down you've still got a long career ahead of you um, you're not missing out on anything just take your time and recover and I think that was important looking back now that I let the injury settle I gave myself an extra few months to make sure it was fully healed and then um, never looked back from that moment actually.